Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you how you can create your very own cookie tracker. What we will be doing is creating a user agent to simulate a Google search. What a user agent is, it's information gathered about a real or virtual device used to simulate an action from one page to another. For example, if I get my mobile phone, and then I go to Safari and then do a Google search, using Safari on my mobile phone, the Safari part on my mobile phone will be stored as a user agent and then will be tracked when I go from one page to another doing my Google search. And through using user agents, we can simulate any operating system on any device using any browser. And so what we're gonna be doing today is creating a user agent and then doing a Google search and then pulling out the cookie information. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is import the requests module. And what I've done is I've given that an alias of R. So wherever we reference R here, I am calling the requests module. The next thing I've done is created a URL and I've equated that to the Google URL, the full Google URL, so HTTP included. The next thing I've done is I've created another variable called cookie simulation. And what I've done is I've created that to a dictionary. Now in dictionary, you have the key and the value. And the key here will be user agents. So it'll be user agent. And then in quotation marks as well. So type in user agent or user, user dash agent in quotation marks, and then put a colon. And then the value here is will be our sort of description of um, our user agent. And here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually use a predefined one that Google has. So if we go into Google and we type in Google user agents, and then we click enter and we go to the first search, we see here that we have a full list of user agents that we can use. So if we go to one here that's designed for checking iPhone web page ad compatibility. We copy that. And then what we do is go to our Python shell and we paste it in here. What we've done now is we've created a user agent that we're mimicking actually an iPhone here. So I'm actually on my desktop, but my user agent is an iPhone. And we'll be using uh, Safari as our browser. And that is our sort of user agent created. The next thing I've done is I've created another variable called X and I've typed in R, calling the request module, dot get. And then in the brackets, I've typed in URL, calling Google. And then I've typed in comma, headers equals, and then cookie simulation, which calls our user agent. And that links, links our user agent to our Google URL. The next thing we need to do is actually get the cookies out. And we do that by typing in print and then calling X and then typing dot cookies. And then if we run that on the output on the right, we see here that we have our cookie taken out. And what we see here is we have cookie IP, cookie one P underscore jar equals, and then today's date for dot google.com. And then below that we have NID, which is Google's, one of Google's cookie codes equals 190 equals, and then our long cookie code here. And that is our cookie payload here. So I hope you've enjoyed our tutorial. Um, feel free to just try it out yourselves. Feel free to keep watching this over if you didn't quite get it. And thank you very much for watching.